What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. We are starting to get all the information we wanted all this time about phase two of season of discovery. Wowhead has started data mining all the new runes for each and every class. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the shaman. guys so let's take a look at some of these shaman runes we're going to start off with the belt runes we have engraved belt fire nova your fire nova totem spell is replaced with fire nova which causes your current fire totem to emit damage at its location so basically any fire totem that you have down if no one knows how this works um it'll basically turn your fire nova totem into a spell and you put, let's say you throw a fire totem down or now you're going to be able to project them into a group of mobs and you're going to hit fire nova and it's going to just burst out flames from wherever your fire totem is this is a really really nice aoe ability so i feel like shamans are going to really start pumping when it comes uh, to aoe uh, with this ability in particular and then on our belt we have another rune a uh, maelstrom weapon when you deal damage with a melee attack, you have a chance to reduce the cast time of your next lightning bolt, chain lightning, lesser healing wave, healing wave, chain heal, or lava burst spell by 20%, and this stacks up to five times. So essentially the way that this works is you're in melee combat, right? You're fighting. Um, this will naturally just stack five times to 100%, so you're basically able to then cast an instant lightning bolt, chain lightning, lava burst, heal, any of your heals. Um, it feels really good. Uh, when they added this to the game, I was playing my Shaman, and it was a lot of fun. So it's really cool like, kind of being like a an enhancement melee Shaman, right? And being able to like just instantly blast out some Lava Burst. It, it really is. It makes for some cool gameplay. And then on our belt as well, another rune, we have Power Surge. Each time Flame Shock deals damage, it has a 5% chance to reset the cooldown on Lava Burst and Chain Lightning and make the next Lava Burst Chain Heal or Chain Lightning within 10 seconds instant. So that is really nice. So every time your Flame Shock is dealing periodic damage, it has a 5% chance to reset the cooldown on Lava Burst and Chain Lightning and make the next Lava Burst Chain Heal or Chain Lightning instant cast. So this is going to be really, really nice. Um, Especially for elemental shamans, this is going to be really nice. Uh, and then we have, okay, let's move on to our boot runes. We have Ancestral Awakening on our boots. When you critically heal with your healing wave or lesser healing wave, you summon an ancestral spirit to aid you, instantly healing the lowest percentage health party member within 40 yards for 30% of the amount healed. Uh, so a nice healing rune right there. For resto shamans, we have... Another rune on our boots called Decoy Totem. Summon a Decoy Totem for 10 seconds with 5 health at the foot of the cat of the target that will redirect the next melee or ranged attack made against the target to the totem instead. Uh, the totem also grants the target immunity to movement impairing effects. So basically like a uh, uh, grounding totem, but for physical damage. So that's pretty interesting. I like that. That's a, that's a nice addition. Um, another boot rune we have here is Spirit of the Alpha. Um, infuses the target with spirit of an alpha wolf, increasing all threat generated by the target by 45% for 30 minutes, limit one target. So a nice tanking buff right here. Um, I'm wondering, if, can you put this on other people? That would be interesting. I mean, I don't know why you would, because if you're not tanking, you, we would not be taking this. Um, you'd probably be taking Ancestral Awakening, to be honest. If you were healing, I mean... I mean, I guess, yeah, you know what? There's no no DPS rune on the boots, so maybe Spirit of the Alpha if you wanted to help one of your tanks out or something like that, or if you just want to use it on yourself, that's really nice as well. And then we have Enchant Chest Two-Handed Mastery. There it is, guys. Each time you strike an enemy with a two-handed weapon, you gain 30% attack speed with two-handed weapons for 10 seconds. That is huge. Combine that with the Enhancement Tree with Flurry. And you're going to be having a really good time. I'm so happy they're bringing two-handed two shamans. I mean, I feel like that is absolutely needed. Like, you you really do. Like, one of the best things in Vanilla WoW is being able to play a shaman with a two-hander, walk up to someone, get that lucky wind fury, and just almost one-shot somebody, right? I mean, I feel like it is really, it makes for such fun gameplay, and I'm so glad that they're bringing that to Saad. Um, I think that everyone has been waiting for this uh, and been wanting it. Um, but other than that, shamans have some pretty cool stuff here. I like Fire Nova. Um, 
the, the belt rune, that's going to help a lot with AoE. Maelstrom weapon is going to make playing enhancement feel really, really good in my opinion. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, but I think it is. I think it's really going to make playing enhancement feel absolutely awesome. Um, and you got a lot of good healing stuff here as well. They're already really, really good tanks. Um, so I could see why they only really added the Spirit of the Alpha and Decoy Totem for stuff like that. Um, they don't really need much more than that. I mean, I, even the threat, like, I guess they could use more threat, but I, I really think Shamans are, like, super top-tier tanks right now. So I'm not sure why they would get any more tank runes, but I guess Spirit of the Alpha, they might need it in Omer. We have no idea, but I know everyone is going to be super pumped to be playing around with two-handed mastery. I know I am th just reading through these runes and seeing two-handed mastery and maelstrom weapon there. The fact that you can use both of those is pretty cool too. Um, really, maelstrom weapon actually will will stack a lot faster when you're dual wielding like with melee, um, but I'm sure it could work with two-handed mastery as well. But let me know down below in the comments, guys. Let's get into some conversations. What do you think about these shaman runes? All right, guys, so lots of good stuff there. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot. I'm going to be putting out a video for every single class for phase two, going over their new runes and any changes that these classes are getting. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. And if you want to hang out with me live, I do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash hammerdance. I'll drop a link to that in the description below this video. And if you want to join an awesome community discord full of like-minded people who all enjoy geeking out over classic WoW and Season of Discovery, we will welcome you with open arms. I'll drop a link to the discord in the description as well. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching and listening in. I'll see you all in the next one.